to not be defeated. I had a crazy thought. And in the name of content. Whoa! Look at that. How's it going? Right, sorry. It's late now. Um, it's late Friday night. I've been out and about doing things and I've just got back to the van. And people have been asking how, you know, I don't really show much of living in the van. The reason for that is just so boring. I have a fixed job in Cornwall. I work in a quarry and I'm very lucky that they let me stay here. Uh, it's not really that exciting. Oh, I've got crap all up my wall here. Yeah, if anything good happens up here, I'll start vlogging that a little bit more if people are interested, but to be honest, it's pretty boring. You'll have to excuse the state of the place. I've got all wires everywhere because I'm charging all my batteries, ready to go down on the south coast and have a few goes. There's a few different bits and pieces I want to try. I mean, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll do this. Okay, so this piece of video now of me filming myself, filming myself, will be... I'll put this up here somewhere, I'll put it in a little corner, but this is basically what you're dealing with here. I've got all my wires out and everything, I've got bits and pieces everywhere, I'm charging batteries for absolutely everything, and I've got the camera on, and I'll tell you what, I use my ring light, you probably can't see very well out here, um, let's grab the light a minute, so yeah, I just plug my wire into the uh, break room there, I'd park here. It's a bit mucky, but to be honest, like I said, it's pretty boring. Um, I've got... I'm back now. I'm back now. Um, yeah, so I've got toilets in that area. It's pretty handy. Um, I can boil a kettle whenever I want. Ideally, in the future, I would have a job that isn't fixed so that I can drive around a lot more and explore a lot more things. Anyway, waffling, because... Now I'm going to make myself a hot drink, I'm going to get into bed, and I will catch you all in the morning, we'll reconvene, I've got to pick up, I've got to drop up the stuff, start that bit again, I've got to drop the stuff off that's in the back, because it's mostly tools, and then pick up my spear fishing gear, luckily that's already here at the yard, I'm going to get to bed, watch some DVDs, and I'll catch you in the morning, love you, take care, love you, bye. Okay, I'm going to try and leave the van running, because... Let's get some gear. What is it they say about best laid plans and all of that? <clears throat> um, I'm still going to be able to do some bits this weekend, but spear fishing's off the cards because my stuff's in there. And for some reason, this decided to stop working. Okay, so I'm going to alliterate something for you. This is a proper pain in the pecker. I did have all my stuff in there. I was supposed to have uh, picked up. Dropped off all my tools, picked up the uh, spear fishing gear and my fishing rods and so on and so forth and etc etc. But we shall adapt and we shall overcome and I shall still go and do what I was going to do but just not the things I was going to do if that makes sense. Doesn't make any sense. I'm still going. I'm still going. We'll figure so something's going to happen. So stick around and see what that something is. I don't know yet. I'm going to make something happen. And this is how we regroup. And rethink everything now is just gonna be as random as it can be I'm gonna head downwards look at signs and then go I'm going there so it anything could happen Saturday let's see what's going on so after meticulously planning what I was gonna do for the weekend that all went out the window so on the way down the coast I ended up popping into Falmouth just to have a look around I know I really I realised I hadn't actually had a look around Falmouth, so I thought it'd be a good opportunity just to have a nose about, see what the charity shops had to offer. Um, it turns out it's, it's a it's a university town, so there's a lot of hipster bits and pieces. Which, if you're into that, great. I quite liked it. I thought it was cool. A lot of nice places to eat as well. Pulled myself up out of coffee and tried to look as moody as I could. Obviously, Falmouth's done. Falmouth was quite nice. It's um, very pleasant. It's a bit cold today, but. Not to worry, it was all right. I'm not going to stay in Falmouth. I'm going to head downwards. And we'll see where we end up. But I'll get back in touch with you in a bit. Love you, bye. I did that again. I don't know why I didn't just stop talking. Okay, I've had to double back on myself because I've just passed a sign for a place called Anne's Pasties. Now, I heard a rumour. I don't know how vicious this rumour was or if it's a lie. But they're doing a kimchi pasty. A kimchi pasty. Come on. So let's get down here. 
and have a little look at Anne's pasties. If they don't do a kimchi pasty, to be honest, it's past my lunchtime anyway, so I'm gonna grab myself a pasty. But I've heard good things about this place, so let's get down and have a little look, shall we? Anne's Pasty has a rich history in the area of Porthleven, Helston, that sort of area. They've actually got a shop in Porthleven, so if you're ever in the area, it's definitely worth checking that out, 100%. Okay, so I officially don't need to buy any food for a minute or two. I've got a sage and apricot um, sausage roll that's fresh today. And I got what was the magic bag. And the magic bag has got pasties that would, because I've literally come at the end of the day. This is the last of what they had. I paid a fiver for two cheese pasties, a veg one and a meat one. That's a fiver. He said, in an even temperature, that will stay out the fridge. So that's me sorted. Let's have a go on this. I'm really hungry, actually. So I'm going to try this sage and apricot. It's fresh today. It smells amazing. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That's proper. Really nice little place actually. Nice little nice bloke as well. I said nice little bloke, it's a nice bloke. Two sacks, because I want to show you something. Tastes amazing. Now some people might be like, oh, 2 95 for a sausage roll, but it's wall to wall. Look at that. That's apricot in the middle, wall to wall filling. Come on. Wow. Just this alone was worth the detour. Not gonna lie. That it's the best sausage roll I've had. It's wall to wall filling. Look at that. Now, in Bodmin and the surrounding areas, the presiding pasty, the, the presiding king of pasties is Malcolm Barnicutts. Now they are very, very good pasties. But I reckon fresh cooked. I reckon this might be it, you know. I reckon like these are definitely better than Barnicut's sausage rolls. Without question. It was a very, very successful stop. I didn't get what I wanted. But I got a close second, third, fourth, fifth. Very good, very, 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 very good sausage roll. Now back to the plan. Let's go have a look at Paul for Levin. That ain't no good. We'll keep going. So I'm living. Brake pad wear service now. Oh. Sounds like a tomorrow job. Right, I didn't film any of that. The reason I didn't film any of that was because it was absolutely hellish. I'm in a place called Puff Levin. It's tiny. It's very, very small. Um, I've got a very big van. It's actually quite beautiful. I'll show you. So that's where I'm parked. I'm gonna have a walk round. I'll take the camera with me. Let's have a look, shall we? And thank you for watching the video this far. Uh, as you can see, Porf Levin is a beautiful place. Uh, it actually got more and more beautiful the more I walked around it, but you'll never know that because my memory card corrupted itself. Now I managed to keep all of the footage up until I changed the memory card because the first memory card was full. The second memory card I recorded for the rest of the day, I recorded the next morning um, for about an hour and a half, two hours as I hiked around the coast and then it decided to tell me it was corrupt. Now I've always blamed GoPro corruptions on the media mod but it would appear now that it's actually a dodgy memory card so that one's been taken out of circulation now 
With that said, it kind of added to the theme of the weekend for me because the weekend, although I'd made loads of plans, none of them, none of the plans that I made worked. And with none of those plans working, I just decided to wing it. And for me, it was arguably much better. So I hope you've enjoyed it so far because I know nothing's really happened, but continue watching for the next half and um, you'll see that, <laughs> that more did. And it was stuff that I would never have done had everything worked out in the first place. So I'll try the media mod again at some point and uh, we'll take it from there. But just to add some context, when it goes back to the vlog, I will be somewhere else. And now you know why. Thank you very much, Sandisk. See you later. I appreciate your time. Cheers. I've changed location. I've... It was getting really busy down there and there's a lot of traffic that goes past. It's a beautiful place and it would have been a lovely place to wake up. But I had a hot tip from a friend of mine. There's no point me showing you it yet because it's pitch black outside. But I like it. There's no one else here. It's a big gravel car park. I'm on quite a flat levelish bit. So now I'm going to just comfy down and then I'm going to cook some dinner. I'm actually going to be having... Show you. I don't know if that's the right way round or not, but venison grill steaks. I'm going to make some venison burgers. <sighs> I really do have to learn how to do lighting, don't I? Just really get my head around that. Let's have a go on these now. It's venison burgers with mushrooms. Yeah! You don't need to watch me eat a burger. I'm sure you get the idea. Really tasty. Probably just going to collapse a van down. Sorry, that was terrible manners. I do apologise. Probably just going to finish these off, get the DVD player out. Nothing really interesting is going to happen. So I'll catch you tomorrow unless something magical or tragical happens. But if it doesn't, I'll see you in the morning. Take care. Love you. Bye. Look at that. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? It's a donation car park, so I've made a donation. Um, it's National Trust, but there aren't any signs that say you can't stay here. Um, just be respectful if you do, because, I mean, if they took this away, that would be a tragedy. Stunning. It's good for the soul. Should we have a cup of tea? I think we need a cup of tea or a coffee. Let's get an hot drink anyway. It's good here, isn't it? <laughs> now, there's a very good chance that my GoPro memory card has corrupted, as is my luck with GoPro and recording on GoPros and so on. It's happened to me a lot over the last few years. If it has, I'll be kind of gutted, but gutted that I couldn't get the footage, but absolutely not gutted that I did the walk. Um, incredible, absolutely incredible place. But I'm gonna put the kettle on and I'll speak to you in a bit. I didn't do one of those stupid things then. Ah! <laughs> I just stopped, just stopped talking ads. One minute, 37 seconds later. Okay, I'm not gonna let a memory card issue defeat me. Um, I couldn't drive away without getting a bit more footage. Uh, I looked through what I had on my phone. It was good, I've had the great memories, but I think it would, I'd just be doing myself a massive injustice if I didn't drive the 15 minutes to the local Tesco's, pick up another memory card and head back down there just to get some more bits because honest to God, it was fantastic and it's a it's the best day for it. So I'm going to go grab a memory card and get back down there and try and do it all again, take two style. Ah! <laughs>
As you can probably tell, the running theme for the weekend was happy accidents. Plans were not working out as they should, but actually turning out for the better in the end. As you can see from this place, it was absolutely stunning. And going back and doing it again while the sun was out and while the tide was out a little bit, it couldn't have, it couldn't have worked out better. I do apologise, however, for the wind noise. That, I can't really help. Now, some of you are probably wondering about the, uh, the rubber gloves. Well, I didn't bring any gloves which was a stupid mistake really because it's actually quite cold so gloves are definitely on my Christmas list or my buying them pretty soon because it's bloody freezing list these on the other hand I bought these for fishing now I'm glad in a weird way that I didn't go fishing I'm glad that fishing didn't happen because this wouldn't have happened now, arguably I could have brought my rods down we could have had a go in here all sorts could have happened that would have been absolutely fine but i gotta be honest i'm not really that bothered it's been a hell of a nice time and i get to wear me gloves anyway a friend of mine actually said that they look like rubber cooking gloves well he didn't say cooking he said baking well, he said, he's a he said master baking i don't know what rubber master baking gloves would be for bread or something i imagine but i don't know go figure but look at this. You tell me this, don't pump your absolute manhood. Even if you're a woman, this will get your nads pumped. I'm gonna do that again without talking about gonads. Because this is a highbrow, adult, grown up thing look at nature in its glorious wondrous splendor look at how beautiful it all is i mean come on all jokes aside you can't not be impressed it's it's absolutely incredible this is paradise to me this is uh it's a really big deal. Sounds daft, but it is. Look at it. One of the bonuses about being here, I mean, I wouldn't recommend it if you're not very sure footed. Ooh, I was joking, joking. Depending on how confident you are with height, you can, there's plenty of places to get down and have a real look, but come on. Wouldn't it be good if I could be down there? Let's have a look. Ah, well, you made it down then. Right, you don't want to be happy that you took the easy route. I have just tested seven shades of shocking out of my Bodmin carry moors. Definitely worth the wages. But yeah, only went on my ass once. Took took a little bit of a tumble. All this gear here is well, it's as slippery as it looks. But my God. I don't know how to express it to you. Oh, that looks like that slippery gear that's gonna kill me. Let's go this way. Let's go this way and be excited. Ah! Right. Look at this. Look at it. It's phenomenal. I'm so happy right now. So happy absolutely beautiful I'm glad that I've come back down I'm glad that I chose to redo this video after the corrupted memory card because wow just wow what an experience so probably half my age ago I moved down to Cornwall because I just always knew that I wanted to be here. Um, I didn't have anywhere to live. I was living rough for a few months. Probably pissed if I'm honest. But um, I used to sit by the sea in Newquay every day. I had a job in the evenings, um, eventually. But even then, I'd sit by the sea during the evening or during the day and just hours would go past, just hours. And I don't really think at the time I appreciated how much it meant to me. 
I'm not going to get gushy. I'm not going to turn this into one of those things where I put some music in the background and say some stuff over it. It's just a, just a fact. I'd sit there for hours and I'd feel happy and content no matter what was going on around me. And it's that exact feeling today. But I understand it more as an adult that it's the benefits of that feeling. I understand that a lot more now. And just look at it. Now, I wouldn't recommend trying to scale all of that in a pair of vans. I think the Bodmin Carrymores have come into their own, if I'm being honest. Owing to the fact I don't know which bits of video have made it through, I just want to take this opportunity to say a massive thanks to Tom Crow for sending me a pin to that car park and telling me that I'd be impressed with this the next day. I think he understated it because I'm in love with the place. Um, I look forward to getting in the sea with you soon, Tom, when you're healed and your leg's better. He's had a massive operation on his knee from a surfing injury. But hopefully you'll get out soon and we can jump in the drink together because, I mean, come on. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? Look at it. Rightly or wrongly, decisions have been made. Don't know what to tell you. Grab his fat self out. Off with the Bob Bin Carry Moors. I had a crazy thought about getting into this whole cold dipping malarkey. So I apologise for the gratuitous debagging. Feel free to skim past, it'll probably not be very long. But why not? We're here. Oh, still cold. Jesus, man. All the way in. Fuck. Whoa. Wow. I've never felt fresher. But fucking hell. They're not lying. Do you know what? I feel great. I definitely feel alert. I'll put you through the debagging. I'm not gonna put you through the rebagging. I'll, I'll be back in a sec. That was amazing. Gotta put the Bobman carry moors back on, but just wanted to say Wim off. What a legend. Gonna try and do a bit more of that, I think. I feel amazing. I mean, now it's cold, but I feel great. Well, I, st I still got to get out, so I definitely need shoes for that. So bear with. I'm gonna do some climbing. Let's chuck you up there. You ready? <sighs> yeah, back up now. There you go. You pull down there somewhere. <laughs> Just been told if I stick to this path, hello. If I stick to this path, there's something cool to see. He says, Look for a chimney. Happy accidents, people. Jesus, look at that meerkat. Well, you tell me that don't look like a freaking crocodile. Come on. Wow. It's not a chimney, <gasps> but alas, mate, he said, look for a chimney, stick towards the coast path and look for a chimney. At this point, the wind noise became horrendous. So I thought I'd just fill you in with what was going on. I'd only just noticed that a chimney stack genuinely hadn't been any closer than that. Now, when somebody tells me about some rock formation or some stuff to look at, I can't leave without it. So bumping into that bloke, I probably would have stopped where the meerkat was, if I'm being honest, and gone back. But once he said there was something cool and it had chimneys, 
I couldn't really help myself. And I'm really, really glad that I did bump into that completely random stranger on the most completely random of days. Because, yeah, turned out, as per the rest of the day, to be a massively happy accident. It's a bit quieter over here. I don't know if you could hear how excited I was over there. Just take it in. I'll give you a minute, I'll give you a minute. Maybe not a minute, but you know. Wow. There's an open mine shaft. I'm not gonna go in because you should really keep out. I just need to reiterate that nothing worked out properly for me this weekend, but everything worked out perfectly. I mean, there's a metaphor for life in there, but I'm not being gushy, so I'm not gonna say about how things might not be how they, you expect them, but hang in there because it might turn out all right in the end. I'm not gonna go down that road, but come on. I'm standing in an old pump house. It couldn't have gone better for me. Right, I'm just going to head back to the van now. I'm walking like John Wayne here because my boxer shorts are still damp and the chafage is real. It's real. But I'm going to power through for the sake of YouTube, for the sake of you. It was worth it. It was definitely worth it. So this is going back in my pocket, hiking back to the van. It's only a mile or two, I think. But yeah, I'll see you when I get back there. Okay, so I'm signing this video off again. And I'm glad I've got to do it again. Because, as I've probably said a thousand times, so many, there's been a multitude of mistakes, a plethora of piss takes, and a cacophony of cock ups. The plans that I made definitely didn't happen. But what did happen was arguably better. Can't say, I can't say I'm mad at it, to be honest. So I didn't do any fishing. If you came here for fishing or spear fishing, I do apologise. But what did happen for me was better. I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it twice. And uh, <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for joining me. Like and subscribe if you want. Oh, and if you ever find... Or if, if you know of anyone building a van and they're like, oh, I don't know if I should, I don't... Just point them in the direction of my van builds. I'm not looking... Just It's not purely touting for subscribers, but if I can make this happen and you can as well without question because there's i just you can it's simple as that make things happen do more oh, kettle's boiling now so i've got to go i'll speak to you in a bit love you see you in the next video bye